Ah. Oh. It's, now I'm in the inky finger club. Yeah, well, it wouldn't <laughs> it wouldn't be so much, but I forgot my dream. But did you forget it? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I will do it hopefully some other time. That's it. Good. Ooh. Good. A dream. Yes. Yeah. Ah. Not exactly, but I only brought eight copies, so. Sir, thank you. You will. Good, good, good. You will. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, sure. I don't have enough copies, so I'm gonna give Dave one because he's he does so much. I, I, let me, I can quickly read it. Oh, pass it to Jeff? That'd be okay. great. Yeah, if one of you would give me one just to like throw it in front of the camera for a few seconds. There you go. I'll take it. Okay. Sure. Hmm. 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 Recording, so any side conversations about your bookies, yes, please, <laughs> please take out to, to the park or something. <laughs> when one is tempted to joke, but you are recording, so one will not. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I actually have another one that's a little bit older than this, but I didn't get it transcribed. And this one seemed kind of a good one to have done last night, actually. Hmm, good. <coughs> I'll come for breakfast. <laughs> Well, it's a uh, very nice dream, isn't it? <laughs> it's a very huh? good dream. Interesting dream. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, funny, interesting. And it would have been nice if I would have actually transcribed it and gotten it last night, don't you think? No, 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 this is, uh... Uh... 
Yeah. I was dreaming instead. Want me to read it through? Yes, that would be thoughtful. Go ahead. So this dream is from Thursday morning. It's a dream that takes place at Esalen. It's the end of a week at Esalen with Pierre. And Pierre and I and Nancy are in a small building there. And he's asking me, he's saying, we could possibly have a reading done. Possibly who you are, what you are, where, and where you're going. And we're waiting to do it. And there's a problem with a lot of construction. And we can't get to the second floor where there was a little gift shop in the old days. And I realized it should be said that the second floor was where the reading was supposed to be. But there was a lot of construction and we couldn't. And I noted on the bookshelf next to us a copy of Proclus's Elements of Theology. It looks like an old one, one of those red hardbacks. And I pull it off the shelf and I open it up and I can't quite read the really small writing on the opening page, the blank page where people usually write their name. And in fact, Pierre says, oh, that's mine. And my feeling at the time was, it was kind of weird that he would say, oh, that's mine, because one thing I could be sure of was his name wasn't there, but it was a bunch of little notes, um, which is one of the things Pierre does in the front of his book. Mm -hmm. But, um, and in, so, and I hand it to him, and there's another book that possibly is a children's book that has to do with, and my other thought was, or drama, it could be Greek dramas, possibly is a children's book that has to do with somehow with using Proclus for children in some way. Wow. And that is so interesting because, well, you don't really need the commentary. But I don't remember that about the dream at all. It's one of those things you record and then you go, what? I said, what? So he takes the two books and Nancy gives me a look. It's really an interesting look. I can still remember it. Like, what did you expect? Or we knew what they were there. Or maybe that I'd done something unnecessary in recognizing they were sitting on the top shelf mm -hmm. of the little book. And then suddenly, they're not there, meaning Pierre and Nancy have suddenly gone. Yeah. And I'm saying to someone, do you think anybody would mind? I wanted to cook some soup with mushrooms and potatoes or something, and I asked one of the people there, can I make, can I use a pot there? And they say, okay. And I start making the soup with mushrooms and deciding about it, and I, that's kind of the way the dream ends, with me wondering how to finish. I don't think I finished the soup, but I was wondering whether I'd end, end up taking the pot with me and having to mail it back, or <laughs> how to get it back to them and thinking about making the soup. That's the way it ends. Um, well, I, I found it really interesting that a place where I would get a reading done is under construction. You know, I thought that was just kind of humorous in a way, but it so I don't know whether the dream, the dream and the dream master are saying, well, we're still working, you're still working <laughs> on that, you know, or not. So, um, and I wondered about the, oh, thank you. the look that, um, well, um, well, <coughs> the transition when Pierre says, oh, that's mine, and I hand it to him. <coughs> I wondered about that in the dream. Well, as I as I told you, when I first um, when I first opened the book, and there were these little tiny notes that was like four lines in the upper right hand corner where people would normally write their name, but they weren't. There wasn't a name. It was like little notes of some sort. So then, when you said, "Oh, that's mine," I thought, "Oh, that's his," <laughs> and passed it to you. So I don't really have, I, I felt that it was a failure dream because I never did get to the reading, even though in the dream there is a construction going on. So in the <coughs> dream, I don't know what I could have done. God picked up a hammer and nails, you know, helped out. Yeah. No, that's a joke. I, I don't mean to speak quite so <coughs> frivolous, you know. But, yeah, um, yeah. So in the dream, I don't know if that's a problem. And I don't know what the significance of cooking is. But lately I've been doing a lot of really healthy detox soups. They're like very healthy for the body, very healthy for the diet. And um, so the, that it was a soup isn't necessarily a problem, I don't think. But in comparison with the way it opens, it seems like a downer. Yeah.
There are four stages in this dream, aren't there? Four stages. Four parts. Okay, yeah. I can, well, I'm not sure where to make the distinction between... Where would you draw the lines? Uh, like with the, the opening and then when with the bookshelf and then uh, when... Um, I don't know. Okay. okay. So, uh, take the first one. Okay. There's a state of mind there that goes through the whole dream. Hmm. Yeah. What do you make? What do you make of that? Hmm. Um, and what do you do with the state of mind that comes up? You see, there are two parts to that. Hmm. So just. Take a look just at the first one, and then you'll see it again and again in the other parts. Okay, read it. Um, uh, Pierre, it's a dream that takes place at Esalen. It's the end of a week at Esalen. And Pierre and Nancy, and I and Nancy are in a small building there, and he's asking me, he's saying, we could possibly have a reading done possibly who you are, what you are, and where you're going. Mm. And um, waiting to it, do it. Wow. In the dream, what state of mind does that put you in? Because I'm focusing on one word. Um, well, it starts out, because it's at Esalen, in a very like clear state, open state, it seems a free state. Mm -hmm. And, well, that's a question I've, all, I've had for a long time, you know, what, you know, the qu whole question of what am I here to do. Um, but, you're saying, I'm not sure, see, I'm not sure what... Hey, hey. It's one the word, one word there, it's central in that first paragraph, so... And I'm interested in the dream, what that did to you. And the word is possibly. Ah. <laughs> put, okay, read it with, put an emphasis on that and read it. Then there might even be one more possibly in there that I can transcribe. Possibly have a reading done, possibly who you are. Uh, yeah, Double I don't possibly. think he was asking you to read it. No, no. He was saying. asking me to read it. Okay. So. Mm. He's okay. saying we could possibly have a reading done, possibly who you are. Um, what does the possibly do? There's a s sense of uh, uncertainty and it's rather like, um, well, when you first asked me the question, I got a stomachache. Hmm. So, um, That's right. Um, right possibly. to the heart of things. There's kind of a painfulness there. Yeah. Um, um. Matter of fact, it's very emotional. <clears throat> oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, the Kleenex box. <laughs> A pencil, pen, and a nail. Um, yeah. Um, boy, I don't know what the, <laughs> what the problem is. Mm. It's kind of like everything you want is just on the other side of something, and it's there, but you can't get to it. You're held back from it. <laughs> by that, possibly. You're held back from it somehow by that, possibly. And it's like, yeah, I'm waiting for someone to say, go! <laughs> um, in the sense of, I don't think there's an actual barrier. Of course, that's right. Except your own reaction to it. To the possibly? Yeah. Or to the availability of that? Mm. Well, there is a sense that, <laughs> you know, if I were to look... It, what immediately occurs to me is a scene where 
I is is a sense that I have a parent standing next to me who's saying um, that under certain conditions I'll be able to get this, whatever this is, right? And um, uh, I am really eager, and it looks really beautiful, and they're like holding me back by my shoulder, and like it's like, well, and I, I'm well it's like there's no reason for be it to be in the power of the person who's saying that or in that state there's no reason for the possibly in a way so the fact that I'm under a possibly is very unjust mm-hmm. 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 you it would be good to put a name on that person in the dream who's doing that. Oh, I don't think, I didn't think it was. Well, just for, for a moment. Okay. Say, um, as you look at what is possibly to be explored, under what word would you some bring all, all of those together? I think destiny. No, you're in the Parmenides. Oh. The logos. Oh, it's a logos. Isn't that what's being asked? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. What is your logos? Yeah. We may possibly discuss it. Uh huh. Is that right? Yeah. We may possibly then discuss what does it mean for all of those to come together. What is the person? Yeah. Go ahead. What do they want to possibly bring from you? Well, my own, my own logos. I don't know what you mean by that. So watch the language, okay? I'll highlight a couple okay. of words. Go ahead. Go ahead. Possibly who you are, what you are, and where you're going? Possibly. Come on. We could Have a reading done. done. Uh-huh. What does that mean now? Say. Oh, it means there's, it's like, uh, on one level, it's like having your fortune told, or your... But it's your logos. Yes, but it's my logos. It's like an accurate... Yeah, in the dream, there's the sense of what, that the reading would be of, of my reality. Yeah. Mm. And that person is using the word possible, right? Possibly. Mm -hmm. What kind of a person would do that? What name will we give that it's person? It's kind of weird. It's how like they're... a person with a lot of power. Yeah. yeah. And how are they using it? Well, kind of as if, as if it was tangential or I mean, they're not facing it. It's like they, it's like a inconsequential matter to them, somehow. That a lot of power, but it's like either we do it or we don't do it. So there's kind of a... Yeah, that's good. Put a name on that person, the way they are functioning at that time with you. Squirrel one. Mm -hmm. Careful, he's right behind you. Sorry. Sorry. No, no, with the, the dive bombing squirrel. They don't make contact. Yeah. I'm just joking. I didn't expect anyone. Um, put a name on that person. Um, well, like a person. Well, I don't know if a single word. Right now, it's the kind of person holds your life in hands. And to them, it seems like they don't care what way it goes. 
whether you find it out. That's what. Yeah. That's why I'd be interested in knowing what name you'd put on the person who's functioning that way with you. Um, well, it's like a blind person. Blind to what? Yeah, blind to what's happening with me. That's true. They're in blind to what they're doing or... Yeah, blind to what they're doing would be fair. Blind to, yeah. It, I feel. I think I feel in the dream that 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 that. I don't know. When they first offer it, I feel like there's a unity with them. Yes, it has that first impression. And then. Um, When we hit the obstacle of the construction, um, it's like uh, they'll move on as if there's nothing at stake. Um, okay. See, how much, how much does it suggest that that person knows about you since they're going to do a reading about you? What does it include? Take a look. Okay, that person isn't doing the reading. That person is taking me up to where the reading is going to be done, uh -huh. right? But it suggests they know that I would really love to have such a thing done. And um, yeah, actually, See. the thing is, it's not only me. It's Pierre and Nancy and I. We're all going to go to mm -hmm. the reading. We're all going to have it done. So, because mm -hmm. there's like, in the second floor, there's yeah. someone who's going to do the yeah. reading. Who you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What you are. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And where you're going. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're waiting to do it. Yes. See, that's yeah. interesting, isn't it? That's yes. the point you're making. Yes. It's a we. It's a we. Right? Yeah, yeah, the person, yeah, <coughs> who's, yeah, we all three are waiting to do it. And they're offering that as a possibility. He, he's aware that there is that possibility. No, no, no. He's all of this that he presumably knows and can do a reading of it, mm -hmm. it's vital, is it not? Yes. And he's looking there and he's saying, hey, we'll possibly do it. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Oh. He doesn't do it. He's not the reader. But yeah, he's saying, well, he's aware of the vitalness of it. Mm -hmm. mm. But it's, for him, it's... Yeah, it's vital on the most fundamental level. Yes. Philosophical, spiritual. Yes. Um, just I'll possibly do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, let's see. Huh. And what's interesting, if we can ask the question now in terms of the dream. That must have left you in a state, right? You're silent. Well, especially when Pierre and Nancy disappear in the dream. Yeah, yeah especially yeah. that. Um, but yeah. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't understand it, and I don't say anything. Yeah. Quite, that's quite right. That's essential. Mm -hmm. I don't even have a question like, why is it only a possibility, or why is it a possibility? Yeah. Like either yes or no. Yeah. Not possible. Yeah. But it's language, you know, it is language that I use so much to myself um, that I don't ever want to think that something will happen or that I've been any goal I'll put to myself in terms of a possibly Anything I expect to do with someone is in the terms of a possibly. 
That is just <coughs> that smell you language. Yeah. Yeah. So it leaves you silent. Yes. Right in that state of mind. Yes. Yeah. Hold that and look at the next. Go ahead in the the bookshelf. Yeah. I'm putting aside the construction for a okay. moment. Yeah, on the bookshelf, yeah. there's a copy. But how does it end? It ends with me giving them both um, away. And again, it's like, <clears throat> somehow when I find it and I open it up, it's like I have a question about it. Why is it there? Mm -hmm. Who, you know, and in, in one sense, who does it belong to? But it's really like, why is this here? You know, it's, it suggests such a higher, you yeah. know. And you're focusing on the small print on the right-hand corner when of I open the page it up, yes. that interests you. Yeah. Yeah. How is it similar then to the first paragraph? Oh, I think again it would be something um, that would open up mm -hmm. a field I'm interested in. Yeah. You know, some Maj seeing of the book or yeah, major. Yeah. yeah. And what do you say? Oh, I I can't quite read it. Right. Uh, <clears throat> so and so instead of keeping it, for example, when the Pierre figure in the dream says, "Oh, it's mine," I immediately hand it over. Yeah. Rather than, "Hey, do you mind uh, finish it?" Oh, he could. I could say, "Well, would you mind telling me what this is?" In the yeah. <laughs> it's yours. To yeah. Turn me on to this. Yeah. yeah. So that's a similar feature then. Yeah. And worse, I think. Yeah. I think it's a worsening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that the same thing that happens with the soup? With the soup? Yeah. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That, that state of mind runs through the whole thing. Yeah. <coughs> Being on one side of the possible. Yeah. Runs through the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. On the wrong side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the construction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. There's a lot of construction. It seems in the dream there's the stairway is completely blocked. It's being. Yeah. By the way, built. what do you think of that uh, person in the dream? Who's suggesting they might explore this when well, there's this kind of construction going on, which it, creates a, a block, an obstacle. A, an obstacle. That's right, and a, and a major obstacle. Like yeah. the guy who's going to do it is up there, and there's no way to use the stairway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are you silent again? There? Silent again. Yeah. 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 And I'm. I think I'm. You know, kind of baffled, and I'm like looking over yeah. at the guy in the dream, like. Like. <laughs> we might do this. Yeah, really? <laughs> in this circumstance? Really, yes. Uh, so that all of this, see, goes back to the first paragraph. It mm. unfolds the first paragraph through mm. three variations. Mm. Yep. And the important part of it is it's left you speechless. Yeah, I don't want to commit to it um, verbally because that possibly part, and I think the possibly, this now I understand it, the possibly really has to do with the tone of voice of the of the guy saying. That's what I want to hear. Okay, because it isn't that it isn't that he, he says possibly we can get it done. It's like a hypothetical tone of voice, like maybe it could be it could be something like it could be. See, it, but it's something in the, uh, I want to say, dreamy quality of the voice, or um, a, like abstracted quality, or not uncommitted quality of the voice of the of the figure in the dream itself. Therefore, we want to go back and ask, what kind of a person is this? Uh, See, are they holding something out? Yeah, they're holding something out. That, Vital. Yeah, and important and wonderful. And 
and yet there's really no way to get it. Yeah. And so it's like a tease. Yeah. You know, it is yeah. like a tease or like a a bait and switch or like a. Who is that? Hmm. In your past. Yeah, yeah. Who did that? I can remember that scene. That was what I was telling you about. It was like an overlay over the dream mm -hmm. when I started talking about it. Yeah. That there's someone standing next to me, and they're talking to me about this vista, like, and um, I want to be with that person in the worst way, but I have mm -hmm. I when he when that person I think it's, it could be my dad mm -hmm. when that person says that to me. I know there's no way and I have to pretend that I think there is a way in order just to stay with the person yeah yeah um, and it may not even you know it may not even be my dad but like it seems like it's somebody in um, Navy uniform Navy whites <laughs> which are sparkling beautiful to a child and I'm like four years old you know and I I'm holding this person by the hand, and I'm standing with them, and they look beautiful. Could be my dad, yeah. but because that one at that point, because um, they, you know, I don't know, no, maybe no, white brass all, buttons, that's all beautifully good. ironed. Beautifully but we need clean. to put a name on someone in that kind of position who has that kind of possibility of opening ah. up. Ah, well, it's someone who's there's something bad about it. It's like they're yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Because by the way they're proposing it, there's no way to get it, and you have to pretend there's a way to get it, and it makes it that much more impossible. Yeah. And that's the condition for the relationship. Exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. That the game is that you cannot ask. Right, I cannot ask like, well, how are we going to get that? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, are you really going to deliver on this? Because it doesn't yeah. look to me like yeah. it's going to yeah. happen. But, you know, so I have to pretend I've already gotten it in a way. Yeah, that's right. And that makes a lot of sense. That's fantasy, right? Pretend you've already gotten it. Yeah. Um, have that dream Thursday? Thursday morning. Yeah. Oh. Wednesday. Well, Wednesday I was looking at... Wednesday was like I told you about having a bunch of stupid things to do. And one of them was that my, a friend of mine had given me a facial, a facial massage, and I had never had one. So I went to get it, and because they gave it to me, and I really just wanted to give it back to them. And it was a really terrible place. It was a high, a high-end spa hiding in a low-end uh, shopping center. And the people there were pretty, they thought, there was a big class distinction. They were high class, I on the other hand was low class. I walked out of there going, really? You're like a facial massager and you have the gall to judge your life against my life? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I didn't say anything, they didn't actually say anything. It was in the way they brought the whole thing about. Um, but I ended up, and, oh, it was a comedy there. It's like, the person said, go and get this particular person to do it. So before I went and did it, I said, why this particular person? And they said, oh, that's the person who gave me my facial massage. And it turns out there was nothing particularly good about that person. In fact, it looks like they were not a good person, but she that person's recommending to me. And then I followed the recommendation even though I knew the yeah. grounds on which she'd given me yeah. that, that information. 
So I felt so stupid doing the whole thing and wasting my time, you know, doing this. So I don't know. I mean, it kind of it made me feel sick a little bit like um, this. How is that like the four-year-old scene with the... Well, it was in the same way having to pretend that there was something good there that I was going to get and that the relationship depended on mine. Is there also that high and low? High and low, yeah. High and low. Yeah. No. That they, yeah. Mm. So then what is the dream urging you to, to reflect on and do? Right, it's presenting you with this. Uh-huh. Uh, well, to ask the questions that I have and yeah. not to accept the fantasy. Right. Get out of the fantasy. Get out of the fantasy. And that they are encouraging. Mm. Mm. Yeah. All right. Nice. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, nice. But possibly the fantasy blocks who you are. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. so. What you are and where sure you're does. going. Sure does, doesn't it? Yeah. Always. Yes, always. <laughs> How beautiful. Just one word. Stamp. Yeah. It's Amazing. an interesting... Well, it, I told you I found those interesting books. And, um, you know, the, the book like the one I gave you on the Iliad, I found them on the Socrates and on Nestle. Mm. And that's kind of going in the direction of one of the things I want to do. Good. But that Oxford thing, did you see it at all? I sent you the curriculum on the Dragon School. And it's very interesting. It, the Dragon School, the way they do their curriculum is they try to find out what the, first, the, what the child's interests are. And they want to encourage curiosity and, you know, and engagement. And they build the curriculum around the child, mm -hmm. right, rather than imposing. They try to keep to the norms, but always keeping in mind where the children's direction is. So, and that's a prep school from four to, I don't know, 14 or something, or eight, mm. to, eight to 14 or something. Mm. So, that's, that's another beautiful. Thanks, Barb. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Barb. Book about Proclus for children? Yeah. You're welcome. Proclus for children. Yes, that's yeah. another There's good idea, Proclus for children. I like it. Yeah. And I didn't, that was one of the ones I really didn't understand. Let me get you another cup of coffee. Oh, thank you. Invitation, you know, like there's a lot that could go on there. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Here, do you, do you, um, <laughs> finish it? Do you look initially at dreams for the whole, the seed, like the whole, okay. compared to, right, like this, this, this first scene yes, was uh, a whole, right, uh, compared to the rest, it seemed like. Do you look, well, for, do you look for that dynamic of like, good, uh, good, 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 it good, contains the rest in one scene? Does that make sense? I, I would like to say that because it sounds good. <laughs> Gina? I've got it, thank you. But, sure. uh, thank you. in reality, all I did was notice the word possibly and I could put it aside. And then I just scanned it and saw that uh, that's it. That's it. Okay. That must be the theme for the uh, four parts. And like, what did it do to you when you saw the word possibly? Yeah, highlight, like, right? It did that to you. Yeah. Then a we're doing the after. same thing. No, no, <laughs> after no. you. No, no, no <laughs> not after. At first. I missed it. Hmm. I didn't get it. I. 
See, the question is, why did you miss it? <laughs> well, I was caught up, I think, in these <laughs> questions. Who are you? What are you? Where are you going? Right? Like. I think. It's all possible. I have the same. I have the same. Uh, same question? Yeah. I could really resonate with the possible and with the tease. <coughs> yeah, I, I picked that up pretty quick. Pardon me? I, I picked that up pretty quick from the whole thing of, of the yeah. enticement of teasing and the fact that it was being thwarted and everything's under construction, nothing's getting done, everything's getting finished but not getting finished. But the possibilities there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's your book, but it's possibly your book because it really, really wouldn't be your book unless you signed it. So it's possibly your book. The whole thing is possible. Yeah. Everything is possibly. Yeah. This, it, it's, it's a neat theme. Mm -hmm. Everything's under construction. Right. There you go. But Are permanently. In, in a state of, in a state of, uh, suspended progress. Or, or sus suspended promise. Or we can. Add something else. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So, <clears throat> the question would be, what happened when you read it at the first time? Um, yeah. That's all. Yeah. And why did we skip possibly? Yeah. <laughs> or you saw yeah. it and ignored it. Right. Or in myself, I saw it and I saw possibly is an important word. And then I read through it again, and I went back to the first part, and I started asking, why is it that there's a small, I started asking other questions, but I saw the possibly. And left it. And left it. And that's what I want to understand. It's not that, I saw it. I saw the word construction mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. potentiality. Mm -hmm. And and then at a certain point I said, hmm, this dream's divided into parts, but the only two parts I got were the first half about the possibility for philosophy and then the second half, which was the pragmatic aspect of it in the end. And, uh, but what I did do, which I rarely do, is decide to read it as a work that had some integrity to it. And that was fun. Mm -hmm. uh, Barbara, when you wrote it out, <coughs> did, what if, how important did you assign to any particular part or word? And did you focus on possibly? Oh, I, I didn't focus on it, but I heard it. It was like resonated a lot. And I noticed in reflection right now that it really stops all the forward motion of the dream. You know, everything stops with that. So, but when I, the, the part that bothered me when I read the dream was the under construction part. And then the sudden disappearance of the figures. Because it wasn't like a normal dream where the next scene comes up and you say, and the scene changes and you go, okay. It was like magic, <laughs> yeah. right? And that was weird. And so, but I basically just felt, and then when I transcribed, I had forgotten the soup part entirely. So when I put the soup part there, I thought, boy, this dream starts out high and ends really low. Mm -hmm. But the possibly um, is like a comma in my speech. It, and it takes many forms, but often it, it undercuts whatever I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, it's like taking, it's like holding, it's, uh, what did I say? It's like stopping all forward movement whenever I use it. So if I'm saying something and I use possibly or some other expression like that, I'll, it's, it puts everything at, it pulls all the energy out of it. Yeah. So, but it's very common to my logos, my papa logos. Mm -hmm. So that's not, I don't know if that's an answer, but that's... Yeah, <clears throat> yeah I thought that's an 
know just that it's a very powerful word for me, but I don't realize it that it is because it's such a wishy-washy <coughs> word. Yeah. You know, so the fact that it it functions to stop what's going on doesn't occur to me because it's like possibly, and I think it's tonal too. The possibly is like it really is a possibility, whereas it really isn't a possibility. Mm -hmm. You know, there isn't a possibility. So, to Ruth. Yeah, a lot of good stuff to reflect on, just going through and watching you go through this dream. Yeah. I'm, I'm tempted to. Yeah, like what? The back like to us. The, the, right, that's the conditions for the relationship. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the power. That's a big one. <laughs> mm. Right? Yes. Like, Isn't that bizarre? Mm -hmm. So yeah. every time that, what do you, right, uh, that's interesting. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, I'm thinking a lot about my father because I really love my father. And but a lot of who he was on one level was a ruse, was a deception. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, to me, mm -hmm. he had a life of excellence in some respects. But I, and I've been seeing lately that my father and my mother both, they would have had to change their life fundamentally to achieve their excellence, and they couldn't. They neither one of them was willing to do it. And so while, yes, my dad did some good things, he, um, I didn't want to see him as falling short in any way, nor did he want me to. So in, in you moving forward in your own goals, right, you'd, you'd be leaving this possibility, right? Yes. That's, that's challenging exactly. everything. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Hmm. And doing what your dad didn't do. Mm -hmm. and not needing your dad? <clears throat> Say, what do you think of the fact that a dream can pull all of this together and pull yeah. together a four-year-old scene into the present? No, po no possibility. Really. Highlight the present, the future, the past. It's divination, no. <laughs> I mean, it is quite amazing, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It is. Incredibly. Just incredible. One word. Right. One word. We've got a sea of oceans of words in the Parmenides. <laughs> Each one, then. And yet, Support. and yet, there's only one word in the Parmenides. Yeah. Self. What's the word? No. One. One. Hmm? Logos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ding. <laughs> We're You're thrown out. out. What, what is, is it? it? Those are all the good I ones. Know, yeah, yeah, what else is left? Yeah. 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 One self, self logo. Let's, let's think about this for a second here. Let's see how many players oh. we got left. Yeah. Oh, totally yeah. Barbara. I know. Uh, no? Okay. No, uh, all of them are on port. No, well. What else? Let's see. What is the one word? Parmenides? It's looks like that. Time to leave. We won't have an answer. One word. No. One word. That's right. <clears throat> that singularly separates it from all traditions. Oh wow! All That's spiritual so systems, all religions, <laughs> and makes them. Of only secondary interest. Oh, goody. Say autos? Can't be, it's gotta be that. Yeah. Gotta be that. Oh, no, no, no. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah. Um, Good luck, he's still here. No. <laughs> we still have a possibility. <laughs> That's too weird. That was a big hit right there. And what's most interesting. Is that he made it up? Oh, he made it uh, up. Nice. It is not a word that anybody that I have ever known uses, nor understands. Lucia, <sighs> not a good one. <laughs> Her boat just sank. 
<laughs> and we're down shaking. to how many? We got four or five left. Demi-urk. Although I, I he made it up. No. Okay. I want to ask Barbara. I'm loving this. Yeah, you're the you're the one. Come on. Have you got a word? Well, just for memory wise, like has he ever? Everybody gets one. One word. One word that he's made I have not an idea right now. I'm considering the question. Okay. So, would you agree that uh, <laughs> when people use a certain number of words, it carries with it an interesting weight? Hmm. I definitely uh, agree. As a whole tradition, social, yeah. political, spiritual. By the way, what do you think of the word God? That's one of those words that definitely carries a lot of weight with it, culturally, religiously, spiritually. For you. Oh. <laughs> emphasis on the word you. What? <laughs> <laughs> she said emphasis on the word you. <laughs> I really thought I could funny. sneak out of that one. What, is it, what does it do to mankind when they use the word God? Me. Or man, what does it do? Well, that's a different question. Unless what it does to mankind is the same thing that it does to me. No. Yeah. Then it's the same question. No. Yeah. Hmm. It generates separation, worship, well, admiration, and all those things. It creates. It it creates separation. It allows they're either adoring, begging. It separate. It's externalized the yeah. process of yeah. being. Yeah, and it's lofty. Yes. Right. You make it so that you externalize, and, and you're no longer separate from man. Right. Yes, sir. It's the term that divides man and his thinking from the highest concept, because the highest concept is so lofty that how can anybody participate in it? except through some trivial act of sacrifice, acting out a belief, etc. Say, by the way, is it equally true that some people have found the word the one that expresses a equally or perhaps more profound idea of God? Yes. Um, again, the same question. What does that do? Well, and its implications for man and you. I'll take a shot. I would say that uh, we've, we, we've certainly seen the parallels between theological terminology and philosophical terminology, right? God versus the one. But I, and they, they have similar effects, some of which we just named. Yeah. But I think there is a difference, at least for yeah. me, yeah. Um, also. When I use the one, uh, it, it, um, there is a that separation yeah. is, is now missing. Yeah. Yeah. And then if you were to get involved in it, you would be obliged to get into metaphysics, would you not? Instantly. And that's re even more remote, but now through difficulty people can establish some understanding of the highest idea of God is one. Is that right? Yeah, we can yeah. get into it. Now, oh, by the way, um, what do you think of the idea that Parmenides puts forward of one self? Okay. See, one word, two parts, one self. Tohen Alpha. Right. What does that do? Connects you. You're automatically connected, right? Right. Oh. There's no difference. Oh, no more. Separation. No separation from the Godhead, yeah. No oh. separation. And if that so, you're put in a profound perplexity. I never thought of myself as... Divine. One. 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 Divine. So suddenly you have to realize okay, with that you. word, you suddenly have to do some wondering. Nice. Because if that's true, what follows? Well, you're led with a question, uh, a bunch of questions, right? Uh, yeah, what? Um, how does that take place? Yeah. In what manner? How would I see that? Yeah. 
<laughs> what's going it? on? Yeah. <laughs> how does it manifest itself if there is such a thing? Mm -hmm. And how does it both relate to the one and the idea of self that they can be joined together? And how am I related? And therefore? Yeah. How am I? How, yeah. Where do I fit in? <laughs> That's the genius of Parmenides. He, yeah. he made up that one term, one self, and that separated himself from all philosophers, Yay! present and past, <laughs> all religious thinkers, all theologians, and created a selfness mm. central to his philosophy. But only if you see it as one self. God, I mm. Right? I mean, that jump is staggering in its implications in profundity because it puts you back into yourself. Then what is the self? Well, in a different what way. do I mean by self? Oh, yeah. and it when am it, I? In a different way, like, and it's normally, a divineness to it. Normally it's like, am I one? Am I the self? Am I good? And so it's like you have to attain to that. And this just flips it right on a different hypothesis. Since I'm one, since I'm one self, since I'm one good, then what? Like, yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. like, how do I participate? Then how does it show itself? Or what am I being, what are these things I'm being brought into as a drama? That and it may even require an explanation. Yeah. <laughs> explanation of? What that, how to unpack the idea of oneself. Mm. Yep. And then once you unpack it, then you may want to know in terms of the way it functions, is it possible to talk also about the way it functions? Hmm. Then you might want to know that. Might you not even go further and say, well, how does it manifest itself in this curious world of which we are a part? Yeah. And without it, would it not be important to see what follows? Yeah. If only a fiction is in place instead of the one self? Wow. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So are you, as you ask those... Right. Like this. That's the problem it is, isn't it? <laughs> mm-hmm. Nice. With a... Singularly the most right. baffling work I've ever written. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> most. Yet every line is simple. Yeah. Well, and this comes up after discussing every line is simple. So his choice of the dialectic, you see, is really fundamental because the dialectic means I will engage with someone with the world of if and I will then bring them step by step through this exploration and therefore gain their agreement with every single step and each conclusion and weave it together in order for itself to emerge as a pure description and explanation of the one soul. <laughs> right? It's a, it's a, see, the, the willingness to put that in a dialectic means that we can play in that dialectic and play Aristoteles and wonder about the Parmenidean answer. So it's not belief. No. Right? It's not, it's, 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 it's it's nothing actually, to do with belief. It's actually is. Parmenides then is a question of organizing your thoughts. It's allowed you to, it's asking you to look and view where your thoughts are and you're putting it to order in that sense and all. It's yes. Parmenides is a, a way Good. to organize your thoughts then and yeah. to understand it through there yeah. and where you fall into each step of the way mm -hmm. and see that you participate in the world. Yeah, but you see, he couldn't do that without the use of the idea of mind. Usia. Hmm. He couldn't do it. That so he, yes. he, he needed another term as rich as oneself, and that's you see. Without that, there would be no possible way to understand it. <laughs> well, but so Pierre, uh, yeah. I want to jump in with a footnote. 
Uh, only in terms of its function, but when, go ahead. You're often saying, well, recently, I love a quote from you, maybe a month ago on Friday night, you said, uh, all problems uh, uh, can be seen as, uh, oh, now I've lost the exact words. Anyway, uh, all problems go back to a war on the mind, right? The, go back to? A war on the mind. Yes, yes. Um, so just connecting that with what you just said now, could we, uh, would it change that to say, or would it be acceptable, on the other hand, to say all problems go back to a war on the concept of oneself mind? Yeah, mm. that's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Ultimately. Yep. Yep. Mm. That's right. Yes. Even metaphysical. I don't know. Ah, I'd like Barbara. to know more how you agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Because See, it sounded how, how, to me. Well, I'm staying with your question. How I agree with that. Yep. How? Yeah. What uh, are the steps? Could, what is the argument that caused you to see instantly and agree with the segue, so to speak, from oneself to a war against the mind to self mind? Yes. I wanted to know how you came to that. I or I can, we can ask him how he came to that. Yeah, yeah. That would work. Yeah, that, that, thank you. Oh, I'm, yeah. willing to, I'm willing to pass the buck. Yeah. Or keep the buck. Under the principle that it's best not to do work if you can avoid it. <laughs> what do you think? I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. <laughs> and it's a good thing. Like, I like damn. it. I like it. War against the mind. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, Jeff. <laughs> well, you ended with once, war against oneself mind. Well, I, I did collapse them because uh, uh, in the second hypothesis, we're really working on uh, those three really together, but also, you know, one self mind. One self mind, yeah. Hmm. Um, you know, and and then one self up at the top, and then one to the left, and we see it to the right. I mean, the diagrams that we've gone through. Um, so, when when you said that one self is really something that that Parmenides does that that distinguishes itself from all other traditions, mm -hmm. uh, and I was I was thinking, well, that would be, and we think about all our pathologoses, right? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's it's really quite a. Uh, I guess for me, the reason that it got it got me there is I thought it's it's an it's an amazingly revolution. It shouldn't be revolutionary, but it's revolutionary and threatening to say to somebody, "We are divine. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. are di we are divine." To, to, or or that we are. Yeah, especially when our feet are in the mud. <laughs> Sometimes more than our feet. Yeah. So I, th yeah. So I thought, well, if that's as much of a threat, but Pierre's also pointed to the war on the mind. So mind is a threat. And then I thought about how Lucia, in, and one and self and oneself have all come together in and then split out uh, in the Parmenides, it, for me it was a natural question to ask you, is that saying the same thing or is it something different? See, when people use the word, myself. yeah, when people use the word mind, um, do they have a struggle? I'm sorry, I didn't pick up the whole, do they If have you a were to talk to your friends, and you use the word mind. <laughs> what kind of response do you get? Um, well, 
Um, whatever response I get usually comes from their understanding of what of that word, which usually goes back to brain. Yeah. At least in my circles, it's a materialistic. Yeah. Yeah. See. So whatever I answer I get is sort of down here. It's not. It's See, when, up there. when someone describes the way in which mind functions on its most fundamental level, yeah. that's Ushia. The power of the mind to turn around upon itself and to know itself. That's an activity, right? All men reflect upon themselves. Therefore, we can say, Excuse me, what I mean by mind may not be what you mean by it, but I think what we're doing right now is reflecting together. That's mind. We're turning upon ourselves to try to discover something about ourselves. That very activity of turning about, that's the word, usia. And therefore, in the second hypothesis, he has the one participating in Usia. Mm. And that's why Barbara, every time this is used, she always remarks, where did he get the idea of Usia? Because it's not present in the first hypothesis. There's no discussion about how it suddenly appears that the one participates in it. Yeah. Right. That's right. Yeah. I'm glad you reminded me of that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like pulling a rabbit out of a hat or something. Yeah, it's really a good question. It's like he pulled a rabbit out of a hat or something. Yeah. Maybe. Only it's an elephant. <laughs> so you think it's something about the, the need to create a second hypothesis that reflects back on the necessity for there to be such a thing as we see it. And one. Yeah, you see, he leaves that with us. Like, if you look at that and you say, well, there's no, no place for Lucia in the first hypothesis, just talking about the one self, mm -hmm. it just suddenly appears, the second. Unless that's the very nature of Usia. Mm. He, to appear. That, 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 mm, wait, a point of order. Very... Sorry to say. <laughs> Robert's rules of order, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, point of order. He does mention the lack of Usia at the conclusion to the first hypothesis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. and as a foregone conclusion, which I think Aristotle rejects. That we can, mm. yes. And so, but I just want to make that point. Yeah, that, it's true. Um, the word seems to be um, something that its its lack of is considerable mm -hmm. in the first hypothesis. Mm -hmm. Enough for him to point out that that's not there. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I just thought I'd throw a monkey wrench in there if yeah. I could. Yeah. Mm. See, the problem is, I think, that if we start with the assumption that this kind of theology, special kind, presupposes two very profound states of mind that are different from one to the other in a remarkable way. Experience of the one and the brilliant light of being. Mm. And the philosophical riddle is, what's the relationship between the two? Mm -hmm. you know, how can the brilliant light of being in some way be said to emerge from something that has absolutely no qualities? Yeah. And it ends up having all qualities. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's kind of the Republic problem. Right. That's the fundamental puzzle that one has to engage in when you're talking about two profound experiences. What's the relationship between the one and the other? It just <laughs> suddenly appear like it Ushi appears in the second hypothesis. Mm -hmm. But Pla Plato, <clears throat> Plato sees 
right? He sees that. He sees that distinction, right? He's. I mean, that's his. That must be his scene, right? He he sees that difference. Uh, that this Lucia. Oh, you're right. But what's the relation between the two of them? Well, I, uh, no, but shouldn't he offer an answer? At least, yes, yeah, why not? All people. Right, chance, what do you please, think? It, yeah, please, yeah. It, continue. And he can even call on help if I, he wants. I, I mean, I think it's it's unjust uh, to try to to try to uh, put into words, um, oh. because you can't, right? Like the oh. like the like. Uh, it's, failure is at it, the it, heart it, of our. No. See, we have to accept our failure. Okay, it's okay. All it, right, it, let's change the subject. It's so perfect and full that it would obviously manifest that greatness or beauty. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Get a good start. <laughs> oh, okay. Get that microphone. Thank you. <laughs> I may ask a question. Uh, yeah. Did start with Lucia, since I'm new at this. Can I, is Lucia? I may ask a question. Then I'm very new to this. Um, sorry. I may ask something about Lucia, from my understanding of this. Um, there is the external world, and when I reflect on the external world, that's what I've seen. Lucia, me acting also as an agent mm -hmm. and all. Mm -hmm. In this state, already. Aren't I now have a separation between what I'm seeing and what I am interpreting? Mm -hmm. So the question I would ask is that in this sense, when I make a judgment and distinction and to separate you, him, her, all these things, in that process, aren't I not uh, constructing and building my thought pyramid and trying then to extend and try to understand everything else? So the question, Lucia, then, if I may ask, what happens if you don't do that? Not put words on anything else and just, ref just uh, let it be? In that case, what is then the nature of Lucia without putting words? Say, have you ever uh, been in a garden? Huh? Have you ever been in a garden? In a garden? Yeah, flowers. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Oh, good. good. Yeah. Uh, what is it about flowers that they always move towards the direction of the sun? You know, I was just thinking that too, so I don't care. It's nice and warm, lots of energy. It's getting cold there, so. Uh, that isn't an answer, though, is it? Uh, what, what? That was an answer. Oh, I was just saying, what is it about flowers that they always move towards the sun or the light? And your answer is that you're sitting in the sunlight and yeah, it's warm? Well, because I was getting colder if so I moved to the sunlight. I mean, the sunlight nourishing, it, it provides a light and everything else. And no one knows that. I mean, for oh, here, working in the sun, oh, no. oh, you would make several god out of it. Then it, it turns towards the, the, its own origin. Excuse me? Mm. Ah, I see, yes. I, ah. I, I, I actually know what you're saying. And what nurtures it and what develops it naturally. Well, in this case, and in this, what you're saying, if I'm understanding yeah, correctly, yeah, yeah. that's Lucia. Uh, Lucia that's is, Lucia. The, uh, is the thing that's that Lucia. you nourish, the thoughts and mind that you keep yeah. producing and you keep thinking. So the question I ask would be is, I wonder, since um, I've also coming from another country, and when I have to learn English and all, there was a problem of trying to map from one language to another. And I know the question here is if I do not, like, if I don't know all the names that distinguish all these uh, trees and everything else, it still exists. So the question what I'm doing is I'm building a mapping of my head of the world. So in this case, it's like a computer where we're using right now to create a virtual reality and that we're hoping to manifest the world in it in the same way. So may, if I ask them, if, if I don't add symbols to these things, what then, where do I exist? Well, that's a different question. And I don't know if you if you listen to the end of his answer about what was Usia, if you're not turning Usia to, upon external objects. The end of his answer was that Usia, like the flower turning towards the sun, which is its origin, right? Lucia is a turning towards one's origin. 
yeah, to, but, towards the origin of the mind then, or the self. I understand what he asked, and I respond okay. back by no, asking, answer, what happened? Did. No, I did. I asked, what happened if you do not add the word, the logos, to things? If you let things be, what would happen then? Let me, I'm asking. To them, is, you're asking. To them or to you? No, meaning in respond back to his question, in part, is I'm asking in terms of Lucia, and I notice is I buy and put label, him, her, you know, names, I put in, I create, and then I start labeling, and I start imagining, and I start kind of learn about who you are, learn things and all. Instead, I could have just let things all be one, and just let things flow, but in order to memorize, to, to remember things, I now have to figure out a name on all labels, and I'm constructing right now the meaning, and I'm trying to build, and I'm trying to now predict and wonder about things all simultaneously. You know, well, you're doing you two have before, Excuse you, me. You're you, doing two different things. That's the first the mind, thing, though. Yeah. That, that is the mind activity, though. Isn't it? Yes, you're doing something what you originally said, which was. Um, what have you don't though? Uh, well, I notice I'm doing it. What happens if I don't do it? That's what I'm asking. That's what I'm. That's what I'm wondering. If you don't do it, where, what part of your world is affected? The mind or your ability to straighten out the various distinctions in the world? I think if I don't do this, I won't remember. Okay, Meaning, so it's part of this is memory. If I if I did not I, in some ways, if I did not do this, then I will kind of like so that. It's very, so it's very important for you to make sure that the, the distinctions you make fit the the world in which you live. Yes, yeah, so that I can remember it. If I don't but, do it, but, then I won't remember. But your first description beforehand was when you got to not doing it. Yeah, you said what happens. You, you described the process of of being in a a, a reflective state. Yes without having to label yes. things in well, the world. What is that state like? That's the birth of mind. Okay. And at the point that you're willing to do the reflection and to continue that reflection in, in the mind, letting the mind do that without the need to identify and label and, and, then, and then you're exploring how the mind works. Well then, okay, then there's no distinction then. If I do, this, if I do that, then think it's a continuum. Therefore, just one thought, another thought, another thought, another thought, and all. I do not record them. I'm just listening and, well, and let it flow. Meaning, it so required what, me so to, rem uh, to remember. I have to now does, map it. Does the mind flow in a direction towards clarity? Well, it's a question of what is it uh, that you're trying to remember, the structure that you are now building in your memory. Is that okay, no, I'm not right? talking about how to manage the world. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about when the mind is working by itself, mm -hmm. does the mind tend to link ideas in a very unique and beautiful way? Uh, I find it scary when I start doing that. That's, that's good, that's great. Well, in well, a way, what well, I Why is that do, scary? Because I'm reducing the divine into a body, into a narrow, uh, I know my vision is only narrow, and yeah. now I'm now separating the divinity into my own memory head and set. And why is that a problem? Uh, well, think of the problem we have right now with this, the illusion, the separation of the possibility. We are now separating well, the actually it, are what we imagine we could be. You, you're creating a separation. You now build a, in your head a memory framework of things like, oh, you know, I wish I could have gone. And you're asking it. what it means to let go of that structure. Yes. yes. What means to let go of that structure and let the mind do the work of mind? Yeah. Perfect. That's what I was asking for. A is that a possibility? I was curious and wondering about that. If we're listening to this, is that possible? Um, and as you think about it for so long already, what do you think? I don't know. I keep every time keep inviting me back to thinking, so I keep finding myself thinking again. So it is a possibility. It is. A I don't know. I just find myself. What, what you just said. It is. It is a possibility. I'm just saying. I just find myself listen, back but, thinking. But, but listening to what you said, you said, it is a possibility for mind to continue to nourish itself in its own mm -hmm. activity. Mm -hmm. I guess it's really needing more thoughts. So can I just not have thoughts and just enjoy the activity? Just be well, that's it? pretty lazy. What do you want to do? What's, what's, the, the, what's the point? I'm just asking. It's one of those things. I see the Are stress. You also I see the tenseness. I see it in the wrong mind group. without thoughts. <laughs> I'm really asking the wrong Why group. does thoughts occur? <laughs> do we have to not think about this? Oh, yeah, I guess we could. You know. Well, you do have, you have several words that you've used, and one of them is wonder, and you ask questions why. Yeah. What, what is this idea of wonder? Like, when you ask that, what's, 
what well, is meaning? I'm, I know not, I'm not asking for a lecture right now. Okay, I'm just, just what is what is wonder? Well, what, what I, is it? The wonder part is that I create conflict by suddenly I have a thought. I'm now interpreting her. Can I wait, not wait, wait. needing to interpret her? Meaning wait, wait. I create a separation. That that's what you think you're doing. What is the wonder that my you're wonder is that I'm now creating separation? Is there a way not to listen yeah. and on. not have separation? You're not hearing my question. I, I think you're not hearing what I'm saying. I'm I hear what you're saying. If you want me to repeat it, I can. But what is that wonder that you're doing? What What do you? I wonder if it's not possible to do the activity of separating. Okay, that's, that's stay there. Okay, what is it that you? What stop right there? Yes. What is that activity that you're doing to wonder whether it is possible to separate? Yes, I Just understand. stop there. I understand that that's the nature of the mind, but I'm asking at that point, can the mind not do the next step? Do you see what I'm saying? I know that the na that's, that my nature is to produce thought. Is well, before you go to the next step, I'm just staying with the first step. Yes, one. meaning why do we need to go to the next step? Could we do not exist in the first and uh, not go to the... What is? What would it be to be able to do I'm that? I'm asking that. Is it possible? What is it that like? That's all I'm asking. I mean, uh, that's my frustration. I'm sorry I'm sharing you my that's frustration right. because I'm sharing a, a problem where words, I'm now helping put in words into things that are, are a little bit as you now feel. I'm asking, is it possible not to use words so that we could just experience? So you're going to, you're wondering what it's like? You're wondering. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And when you do that, what is that activity like? Yeah, what well, this is very interesting. Uh, it, it gets nervous. I get lost. Uh, it's kind of scary because where's my place then? Where's my place in the situation? If I'm not echoing out, then I am. Uh, so just to just to ask the question, what it? I'm wondering. It creates anxiety, doesn't it? It does produce kind of stress. It does. I already feel the the, the, the the. Would it Would it be possible though to even ask further? I'm wondering about the activity of just wondering. What is it to... You now just go into infinite regression. The well, before you answer that, what would it be? No, meaning you can go, you can keep this as a regression of infinity of where this begin. Meaning right. it has to begin with you, which is one. So meaning the point here is that you now have to wonder, the, the nature is that you are one. You only create, you are suffering the world by when you want agency, you are well, looking to do something. If you are one, then... There's nothing. Meaning there's everything and nothing all the same time. Or you'd wonder about how it is that there's everything and nothing at the same time. Yes, it's a very problem, isn't it? That's why there's anxiety. There's a lot of anxiety involved. Okay. And how that could come about. Yep. Or what is it that would manifest that yep. idea? Yes. Just well, what's it like to just wonder about these questions that you have right now? Well, except anxiety. If you put well, the anxiety you can aside, feel the body getting tense, stress. If there is, uh, there's, there's fear. There's a lot of fear involved. Okay, that that's the reaction that you have. But what is it to ask these questions? Is that is that even even. She's. I think you're asking again. Even even before you get those reactions. Yeah. Just slightly before. Yes. That okay. you don't exist. That you might not exist. That might your not. existence is just really a falseness. That is, you attach on to what your parents tell you you were, how you they, they didn't let you play, so you, they limit you, there's a whole world to so to, so to wonder about what it is that is wondering puts you in a state of that it may not, you may not exist. Yes, you may not exist. You may not exist. You, yes, I, because I, my existence, there's a body there. But really, if you think about it, your mind is what you hold and you're collecting memory. You're collecting, and I like that, I dislike that. Oh, I really enjoy that. Oh, this is a great party. Right. And so you're essentially building on memories of happiness or sadness and all, and you're building and building, and you build constraint. I don't like that, I dislike that. You're suffering. So, you're going, ba so going back and asking what is it that's wondering would be looking at what is it that's asking these questions and trying to find out what the yeah. nature of that is? And you're saying that's empty and that's scary. And mm -hmm. but what if that is what you think it is, right? That's all we have. Uh, or what is it that is? What is it that would be wondering about that wondering? Would that be looking at 
yourself would that be turning upon that wondering itself when you're looking for wait 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 before when you're wondering about wondering would that be looking at something about wondering yes yes it is and that would be kind of looking at what is it that is wondering I mean, like, not only what is it that's wondering, but what is wondering? Well, according to our answer today, it's oneness, isn't it? it is, okay, uh, well, there's only the one. All right. There, there, is, there is the one that's doing it. That's all there is. Mm -hmm. and well, I'm that's good. And part, I'm participating in part of the oneness. That's all there is. I'm participating in the word of oneness right now. Mm -hmm. At every moment, every action, I'm participating in the oneness. Is there something interesting about that wondering, though? That it's instead of getting anxious. The question, why, why is that, well, why is there, uh, when you do get anxious, why is it? That's a different question, yeah. but yeah. yeah, that's a good question. But when, even when you ask that question, what are you looking to? Oh. Oh. Trying to find out why it is that, you're trying to find out the origin of that anxiety, is that right? Separation. But you're trying to find out the origin of that anxiety. Yes. Mm. Ah. The dinner, we just define this anxiety, this we're not anxiety finding is out. separation. It, it is when you separate, you are now, there, in separation there is anxiety. I understand, you're, sh you're shifting it now. No, no, there, that is the anxiety. Separ if you want, there's no consciousness. Okay. There, there no. is no, there, there, there is that. There, the only reason why you would need consciousness is you're separating things. You are distinguished yourself from one versus another. All right. The rock, the tree, yeah. you know. Okay, well, you certainly have moved away from that question of why is there anxiety? Separation, isn't it? No. Dividing? Okay, sorry. That was my experience. I, I apologize. Thank you for your time uh, for listening. That was, thank you. I'm sorry to disturb your... Uh, oh, come on. Yeah. So, sorry. Thanks. Well, I was looking at the idea of asking that question. You're looking to see the origin of why is it anxiety. We're all here. That's what but, we're doing. Slow down. But you're saying that there's a separation. Well, if, if why is there anxiety produces separation, that doesn't answer why there's anxiety. It only notes what happens. Oh, that's yours. That's all I'm experiencing. <laughs> I'm glad so, about right. it. I don't know. So, Thank you okay. for your time, though. Well, anyway, somebody else can pick it up. Well, I think the question is whether or not you, the role of anxiety, I mean, you seem to have a very interesting view of it. Like it's necessary, otherwise you don't exist. That's mm -hmm. the impression I get. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, actually that is. That and is and I, I find that Point. very curious. Yeah, that is one of the yeah. all fighting. But I, I thought you did a good, good shot at, at nailing it down. Yeah, well we all fear about existing, don't we? Do we? Oh, some, of uh, we don't. some of us don't. Okay. I, I don't. I don't see the necessity for it. So is there any alternative to be either being full of anxiety or you're screwed? It's out of his soul. Yeah. yeah. Part of the I asked that question not all being day. able to do what he wanted to do in, in the parental model. Ask, by the way, what video. is asking that question? When I have, when I acquire attention, when I get strained, no, when no, I get no, all no, these no, things. No, not the thing. What is asking what? that question? Oh, no, that's Christian. Is, yes. is that, is that the, which is asking the question, experiencing the anxiety, or is it questioning the anxiety? What I realize when it occurs is things are not going smoothly the way I feel. So like what it. is what is what is asking and noticing that? That's that's the question that we play with here. I understand. So uh, I guess I'm asking right there. You know how we can go along with anything and all, and everything is fine, like in like walking and all, and, and, and you know how you're thinking and just walking along. And what is it that stop you at a light, meaning or like a car in front of you? Is is it? You thinking to stop, or are you aware of something? Uh, suddenly, you stop because you know. You know, have you noticed? In the okay, well, I, I know how people work. Yeah, so you I'm know, just that's thinking. how we survive. But when you're asking the question, "What is wondering?" Yes. Are you? Is that a state where well, you? Well, I didn't ask that. What's wondering? I mean, you, you guys asking what is wondering? No, I, I asked you the yes. question. What is? What is? What is asking about the anxiety? Right. The anxiety. It is. You are now being, I'm being disturbed in my whatever enjoyment moment. Are you identifying with the anxiety or are you identifying with the asker? I'm <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. Uh, no, when I'm, when I'm you go to anxiety, are you question. identifying with the anxiety or that's are you answer. identifying with the person that's asking what is anxiety? Okay, um, hmm. we now focus on uh, 
okay, what would be the difference between there's focus? no difference between the anxiety and, and you, you are the anxiety there <laughs> okay, is, so you, there is you, no you, you, there you are the anxiety if you want to that is what you can right now that is your belief so there, your there's, nothing of that, it. there's nothing in you that observes anxiety well when you start wanting to know now you wonder how it got there because there no, are, that's that's no. that's uh, after the fact yes there's separate what it, what is it that observes the anxiety the, the tenseness of the body the okay now that's the, body? the anxiety the seat. Yeah. what is it that it can see the tenseness of the body has no uh, idea of the soul yeah, can, yeah. Can that, the that's yeah. who see it yes no but i understand that sure. but is that the but one you want to call time to go you don't just Thank want you, a quick sir. answer pleasure Pleasure. 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 So I gave you, so I gave you the email. Shoot me the email. Yeah. Please. Sure. I can't wait. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I'm so sorry Ooh. to interrupt your room. I would just. No. Oh, come on. Thank you. No, 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 that's what we're all about. <laughs> sorry, I interrupted. All good, all good. Hey. My fun, my fun, fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you David. Thank you. Yeah, we're here, yeah, it's like thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Pleasure again. Our dad. Thanks. Pleasure. There's a way to separate the self from the anxiety. You don't see that. Come back. That's why. Hold on. Let me turn up the recording. I can't conceive of the self without being. I have a. I have a. I have a.